That's what? No! It seems like you no, are. We're Don't. going to win. Damn. No. That, wow. I'm not going to stop. The movie begins when our lead character, Rebecca, wakes up early and goes for her daily morning run. She gets home, cooks breakfast for her son, Ollie, and responds to his interesting questions about different kinds of ghosts. Unlike Ollie, Rebecca's older son, Noah, is quite a grown-up teenager and is currently choosing a college after school. However, Rebecca dislikes it when he reveals that he spent many hours last night looking for an appropriate college for him and his girlfriend, Jasmine. He wants to be with his girlfriend, while Rebecca disapproves, knowing that her son should not fall into a serious relationship at such a young age, though she doesn't express her feelings. On the contrary, Noah and Ollie have been seeing their mom alone for the past three years ever since their dad died. They are going on a family trip to a ranch in the West and really hope that their mom finds a suitable match. Rebecca feels this conversation is a little overwhelming and moves toward the front door, as Noah has just told her that Jasmine is going with them on their family trip. Her parents are leaving for Hawaii to spend the holidays together, hence, despite disliking that Noah invited Jasmine on his own, she agrees to take her to the ranch with them. Rebecca's mom and sister, Cassidy, greet them as they arrive. Jasmine knows them all through small anecdotes that Noah tells her from time to time. But Cassidy smiles, knowing that her sister Rebecca must be annoyed by Jasmine's presence. Grandma intervenes, and they move their luggage. During their walk on the ranch, Cassidy shares that she has a little surprise, she is here with another boyfriend she met in New York. Rebecca is surprised to learn that Cassidy has left her last boyfriend so quickly. But before she can comment, Cassidy quickly introduces her to the ranch owner, Aaron. Aaron takes them to their rooms, and unfortunately, they have one less room. Thus, Rebecca decides to stay in the pantry room, which is filled with various items. Noticing that Rebecca is paying so much attention to every tiny detail about their trip, her mother stops her and tells her to let the boys enjoy themselves and that she must try to find someone too. Rebecca is not ready for any relationship since her husband died, thus, she hates when everyone pushes her to live her life in a better way. A while later, she goes to a nearby hat shop and tries to find the shop owner. One old man is sleeping, so she heads toward the younger guy at the other end of the counter and asks for a good hat for herself. The guy intrigues her by saying he knows exactly what she wants because she is a tough lady but very tender inside. He chooses three hats for her, describing tiny details about her personality that stun Rebecca for a moment. She listens, and tears come to her eyes when he says that anyone would be lucky to have her because she is too alone right now. So she tells him that she is willing to buy all three hats. At the same time, the old guy wakes up and the younger guy informs her that he is also a visitor and the rodeo champion, so she has to pay the old guy. The old man tells them that he doesn't have change, so they can sip a cup of coffee while he goes to get it. Reluctantly, Rebecca sits with the guy named Jake and begins sharing about her family, work, and deceased husband. In the end, she is surprised that she talked so much to a complete stranger. She wishes to know Jake better, but at that moment, Jake's phone rings, and he gets up to leave. Rebecca really liked him and asks for his phone number, using the excuse that she might want to go to a rodeo someday. She returns to her mom and Cassidy, and with huge excitement, begins sharing that she has just met a very nice guy. Just as she is about to spill more details, Jake appears, and Cassidy introduces him as the same guy she came here with. Jake is well known as the best horse trainer, and after Cassidy gives his introduction, Rebecca finds herself at a loss for words. Jake senses that she vibes with him, but since they are caught up in an awkward situation, he thinks it's better to remain silent about their previous meeting. Later that day, Aaron tells his guests that he has lined up a few activities to give them the feeling of truly experiencing the real West. They will go panning for gold. While everyone goes to fetch their supplies, Rebecca sees Jake and requests that he keep it a secret that they ever met. Jake smiles, and Cassidy returns to go to the gold panning site with him. Rebecca can sense that Jake is popular with everyone because of his calm and informative attitude. She tries to keep to herself, but Ollie brings Jake over to show their mom how he can call a ghost by uttering a few words. The brief moment leaves Rebecca confused. She takes a little walk with Cassidy, who shares that she likes Jake because, unlike other guys she met in college, he seems more mature. That's why she wants Rebecca to hang out with him and assess whether he is really the guy she wants or not. Rebecca strongly resists, but eventually gives in when Cassidy keeps insisting. So the next day, Rebecca takes a little walk with Ollie, and he shows her how he can call a ghost using the words taught by Jake. 
She then leaves him with Noah and Jasmine, as she now has to go with Jake to spend the whole day with him. He was informed by Cassidy that Rebecca cannot ride a horse, so he will have to teach her. The situation becomes awkward again when Rebecca slips while trying to get on the horse. But Jake doesn't mind, and they begin riding. A while later, Rebecca's horse becomes uncontrollable and starts running wildly. She doesn't get scared, and by the time she manages to regain control, Jake already knows that she is a very good rider. He asks why Cassidy actually sent her here if she knew how to ride. Rebecca finally spills the truth that Cassidy wants her to assess Jake to see if he is an appropriate guy for her. When Jake asks, she tells him that he is a nice guy in her opinion, and as a cherry on top, he knows how to dance, which is perfect because Cassidy is a lively person. That night, Jake dreams that Rebecca has brought him coffee and that they are deeply in love. He wakes up a bit confused and goes to the ranch where he trains his horse while Ollie enjoys his time with Jake and learns how to tame a horse. Rebecca observes the cute bond between them from a distance, and later that day, Aaron notices that something is bothering Jake. He asks him about it, but Jake remains silent. That day, Rebecca falls into Jake's arms at the end of the sack race activity and walks away feeling very nervous. To hide her nervousness, she argues with her mom about Noah and Jasmine's untimely love story. She wants Noah to move with her to Boulder during her tenure as she is just waiting for a call from the university. But her mom tries to calm her down, reminding her that she and her husband met at the same age, so she shouldn't worry about Noah too. Besides, she has called Bobby to the ranch, as he already likes her and is looking for someone after his divorce. Rebecca dislikes Bobby and walks out on her mom instead of discussing the topic further. The next morning after jogging, she sees Noah entering Jake's property and follows him. She listens as he asks Jake if he is sure that he loves Jasmine. Jake tells him that if he imagines her when he wakes up or when he sleeps at night, then he is in love and should listen to what his heart says. After Noah leaves, Jake goes to the hay room, having noticed someone enter, and rightly finds Rebecca. She hates that Jake discovered her there and angrily tells him to lower his piercing gaze and walk toward her room. Not much time passes before Cassidy comes to tell her that she has to meet Bobby right away, and they will go to the rodeo together. Jake looks at her when she arrives to meet Bobby, looking nice. Cassidy shares their teenage stories, revealing that Bobby used to write poems for Rebecca. Bobby is all smiles about reuniting this family, and they move to the rodeo. Rebecca gets a chance to talk with Jasmine and is surprised that Jasmine is extremely positive about Noah moving away because she is okay with it if that's what Rebecca wants. She knows that after her husband's death, Rebecca is already managing a lot, so she doesn't want to be a problem for her. Cassidy goes to the dance floor with Bobby, leaving Rebecca and Jake to drink. Later, she invites Jake and Rebecca to dance too. Rebecca admits that she hasn't been to the dance floor since Sean died and feels drawn to Jake while dancing. She quickly leaves the room and tells Cassidy that she wants to share something. Before she can say anything, Cassidy makes weird assumptions, and Rebecca can't express that it bothers her to be around Jake, as she has started liking him while he is with Cassidy. She feels guilty when Cassidy hopes that Rebecca will also find someone nice like she found Jake. Once again, Aaron sees Jake worrying but doesn't say anything and goes straight to Cassidy. He tells her that she is good, but she is not the one he is looking for. Rebecca feels bad for Cassidy, but she knows Jake did this for her. At the same time, Rebecca receives a call from the university about her tenure. She has been waiting for this moment for years, but now that she has found Jake here, she doesn't want to move to an urban setting like that. But that's her life, and she shares her doubts with Aaron. She wants to be a free bird like Cassidy, but unfortunately, she is stuck with a job and has to live in a specific location. Rebecca asks Aaron about Jake and why he broke up with her sister. He takes her away to a calmer place to help clear Rebecca's mind and relax her. This works, and she tells him she has to return because she promised Ollie that she would take him on the ghost hunt. But before she can get back, Ollie is already gone for ghost hunting. Rebecca becomes very worried and searches every place on the map that Ollie made. Then she asks Jake to look for him. Jake tells the whole family to search for Ollie in different areas, but when Rebecca still can't find him, she sits with Noah helplessly. At that moment, she sees Jake returning with Ollie. It turns out that little Ollie was repeatedly going on the ghost hunt because he was looking for his dad. He is truly sad that his dad passed away and had heard somewhere that this is a way to meet him. 
Rebecca begins crying and tells Ollie the sad truth, he will never meet his father in this world again, but they can surely feel his presence. They hug each other, and Ollie bids a final farewell to his dad while looking at the sky. Later that day, Rebecca goes to Jake's cabin and tells him that it means a lot that he is so good to her boys. She gives him a letter and requests that he reads it when she leaves. But Jake opens it right away and reads it aloud. In the letter, Rebecca writes that they are living in very different worlds, so they may not be appropriate for each other. She would love to spend her life with him, but the life in a specific place may tire him. Just as Jake moves toward her to respond, Cassidy sees them standing so close and becomes angry at Rebecca for not telling her that they are liking each other. She doesn't listen to any explanations and walks away. That night, sitting around the fire, Rebecca tells Noah and Jasmine that she is okay if they want to go to the same college. She accidentally tells Jasmine that she doesn't mind if Noah loves her. Then Noah admits to Jasmine for the first time that he likes her. On the other hand, Aaron tells Jake about his love story when he sees him lost in deep thoughts. It was a girl in the city who liked him, and after a while, they moved in together. A year passed, and he got bored of city life. Leaving that girl behind, he moved back to the ranch. So Jake must think carefully before making any move, is the girl really that important to him that he cannot live without her? Meanwhile, Cassidy is feeling better now, and she accepts Rebecca's apology. On top of that, she tells her that she might be seeing Bobby soon, as she likes him. He is a much better version of himself now. They sit around the fire as Jake arrives and starts singing a song while playing the guitar. Rebecca keeps looking at him, knowing that she wants him, but they are two very different people. The next morning, before leaving the ranch, Cassidy and her mom come to the biscuit room and hand Rebecca a poster of Jake with a comment written on it. It reads that it's for his tough and tender cowgirl. Suddenly, Rebecca feels the urge to see him once before leaving, and upon her sister's and mother's insistence, she takes a step to ask Jake what he wants. She shares her feelings, saying that she has started feeling alive when he is around. Her sons also love him, but she knows it would be hard to leave this cowboy life for Jake. Jake tells her that he has given it some thought, and he can live with them in Boulder, as Bobby is interested in starting horse therapy there. Knowing that it's a yes from Jake, Rebecca feels so happy, and they disclose their relationship to Ollie and Noah. They are thrilled for them, as they already like Jake. Rebecca and Jake begin dancing together while the rest of the family joins them after a while, and they celebrate their union with utmost happiness. The movie ends here. If you like this movie then don't forget to subscribe the channel.